Welcome ladies and gentlemen once more to yet another Miles Tech video about Grand Hero Battles. Today I'll be tackling with my cavalry team Kana Dragon Spawn. Unlike other times you've seen my videos I'm picking again Exalt Chrome. Why? Because Sealed Falchion. It gives him plus 5 whenever he's less than 100 percent HP and that general plus 5 turns him with an attack of 58, 36 speed, 42 defense, 28 resistance and that gets compound with close defense 3 that means he hits 48 defense and because I run a ward cavalry he Technically, he's hitting 52 defense, and that's not a small number for this map. You'll see when I get there. I'm picking Righteous Nike all the way because she has at least 35 speed. Even with Swift Sparrow plus 4, she can't really outspeed Kana, but I'm giving her a little pick me up in the shape of a Hong Calvary of 45 because Thunderhead is a ground blade plus Tom without any downside of the ground blade plus Tom, so no extra charge. Ideally, she doesn't need to run glasses, I just put it there because I don't have spare Moonbows, Icebergs, or in the best case, spare Lunas. As always, Prey Blim is here, Desperation 2 just hits the right stats, the right kinds of needs. War Colbury plus 4 to all my units whenever it comes to defenses, distant defense 3 to compensate for her lack of defense. This is a merge, she's plus attack, minus defense which is ideally her best skill set, her best ideas. Luna, as always, is wonderful. Swap so is once again needed in this map to be the Mula Gear grants plus, five, plus 3 speed and nullifies bonuses. So she's, as always, a lovely darling. Finally, we have Re Blue Reinhardt. Their Thunder, one of the best weapons of the game. Bowbreaker 3 is because he's bait. Now, with the team overview, let's start. <coughs> Considering that I have never played, because I don't own a 3DS, the Fire Emblem Hoshido games, the three games conquest and all that I'm not sure why he's throwing a tantrum here and is the flash supposed to mean he's now transformed into a dragon is this a reference to something that happened in the story uh. <coughs> sorry about that Right, fierce we reposition all win. Because the bonuses that Thunderhead will add to damage kinda dies. And not only that, with this at least 41 speed can outspeed Kana because he has 36 speed. Next we do this small swap to then drag Owen away from danger. And the spores hit now. This ensures that the dragon is very much dead by the end of it. Now, I move Ringhard here to make him be 
in the area of the bow factor. The idea is to use him as bait. Chrome can handle all the attacks of these units, so I reposition him and send him here. I now move bravely here, and because she has Ward Calvary, she's guaranteeing plus 4 to Olwen, to Reinhardt, and to Chrome. That's rather important to survive the numerous attacks. Alright, I know this might look bad, but it's not really all that bad. I kill the bow fighter and sh diminish one thread. I can kill the green mage because, again, this guy has drive resistance. So, what do we do? I use bravely with the, her amazing default kit and Luna. To kill the bow cavalier, and then Olwen is free to kill the green mage. Now the blue spear Pegasi is going to come down, as you saw, attack me, and he pretty much is free game because Olwen can easily finish him off. And with that, I've beaten Infernal Mode. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for watching. As always, please comment, rate, subscribe. I'm always open for suggestions. If you like the video, consider donating to my PayPal account. The email is right below in the description. The more you donate, the easier it gets for me to produce new videos because eventually I'll be able to afford better recording software. With that said, thanks for watching. See you next video.